morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys, wherever you are in this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this YouTube video. Welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel of the newcomers. My name is Dita Tehutu, and yes, I'm already wearing my 50k hat. Too early, but I just want to wear my new beautiful cap. Look how beautiful with the gold logo. And look how beautiful this really cool cap. You can get them at CryptoTrader.nl. Not shilling them, I need to pay for them. I don't know why I need to pay for them, but I really like CryptoTrader.nl, so I support them. If you want to have these cool caps, CryptoTrader.nl. Today's short TA video, jumping into the charts quickly, because I see something in Bitcoin that I saw yesterday and the day before, but now it's a little bit more clear how it's playing out. So let's take a look at the charts. First chart, of course, Aurox platform. Yes, sign up to Aurox using my referral link. Um, the channel, we are still moving inside of that one. We are creating higher lows. And look, we again got this pump on the four hour and we are trying to break that red area again. It becomes time that we break that red area over here. We need to go above it. And I'm going to show you now why I think it is important that we go above that one. Bullish first, and I will also share you the bearish outcome today. Okay guys, why is it important? First of all, if we're going to take a look, let's take another chart with it to show you a little bit more clear. This one, baby. Bam, here. This is the day chart. And on the day chart, we can see that something really cool is playing out. You know, I drew yesterday already, had the resistance and all the lines. I, I do think you remember that chart. And I do think you remember that I drew this green line on the RSI coming down. We need to break this one down. The moment we break that RSI over here, this line, and we go for that dollar line, that's a huge bullish movement. And it just is this way that at the moment, if we look at the day chart, we are kind of creating a pattern that is bullish and that 50 ma is coming down we want to break that one as well so everything is in line to create a bullish breakout and for me this bullish breakout this could take us all the way just if you measure it like this always take the beginning and then you can whoop, paste it over there something when you break out that would be the 41 42k level that's a beautiful beautiful breakout and that is the one i am expecting yes there is also a chance that we break down but then we would go to 27,900. and both of these numbers are on the other chart as well that i'm going to share with you but for me i am bullish that's why i'm wearing my bullish 50k bitcoin hat I am going to go for this breakout to the top because we are creating higher lows and for me the market wants to go up and not down so yes let's see this breakout should happen guys before 10th of july somewhere there. Yeah, this day candle so the last candle would be 11th of july my lucky number but the 10th would be the last candle that could be really fitting in here so 10th 11th of july we should be breaking out of this pattern very 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 exciting guys and that would mean that the RSI comes up and that would mean bam 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 bullish and that would mean that we will take another week or two or maybe longer to create a new beautiful golden cross that one that we want to see to get another explosion up to the 100k now that is I think very clear now let's take a look um, if the bam bam did it correct again yesterday let's put it on over there look the short was good and uh, I told you yesterday we were waiting for that long and that long that came yes we had a long flag closing above the yellow stepping line let's see if the BAM did crossing that midline and the midline is curling up also beautiful ah we still need to find some green and the blue needs to be gone and I would prefer the green line to be on top over there. 
that would have been the perfect trade. Now it's a little bit more risky because there's a lot of sea, blue water, not too much green. Um, so a little bit more risky, but still it could be a good trade. And I would then look to the top of there, something to take profit over there. And that would be then a 2.9% trade. If we would break that 36k level, guys, then you can stay in that long. Then it will be a sticky long, like we call it. That will be a long, then going all the way up to that top over there of that beautiful channel around 40k. And that is again in line with the other ones. Now, that is my bullish output. Let's look at the bearish or another bullish one. This is another bullish one. This is the chart I showed with you yesterday. It's showing you the same. It's showing you exactly the same. You know, uh, megaphone or this pattern in the short term breaking the green line going up to this line 42,000 us dollar um, and yes also here this pattern coming down coming up we need to break out in the rsi so it's, it's just showing you the same as that i showed you already and um, i want to show you now what could happen this is my bearish outlook by the way oh my god did your video today is <sighs> coffee 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 mm. my bearish patterns this chart you already know from me i've been um, sharing this chart already for months and on this chart i've been telling you if we copy 2013 or 2017 so that would be or copying this move from july bam or this move from july bam if we would copy one of these two the green one is 2013 the blue one is 2017 okay and why is that now bearish didi because if we would copy those two, one of those two runs, we could see a little bit more pain. Because then we could drop with the green line till this level, 27,000. The blue line even dropped till 24,000. But both of those lines, after dropping to that 24, 27k level in the previous runs, the amount of level, uh, made the huge run up. To the bullish side so yes that could be that pain that everybody is asking for the 24k but at the end the blue line would then end up at 270 and the 2013 one would have end up at 430 000 us dollar so yes this is my bearish outlook oh yeah we could go below but that is for me not the end of bull run that's for me still the mid of the bull run that would be accelerating into the top of that bull run guys I think that was everything I wanted to share with you today. I need to check for, to be sure if I have not one extra chart that I want to show you. Um, no, I do think that I want to keep it short today. I think this is very short. Um, only uh, this one over here. Let's see. How are we doing over there? Look, still the support moving up again. Yeah, I think everything is in line to go up to that 100k um, at the end of this year guys so for me still bam very bullish that was a very short eight minute ta update with a beautiful bitcoin hat cap 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 yeah if you did like this update if you did like these charts give the video a thumbs up share it with your friends and family subscribe to the channel hit notification bell and please leave a comment about these charts are you bullish are you bearish do you expect 20k then 100k or do you expect that we slowly break out that daily pattern now bam all the way up to 40k pull back to 36k bam back to 50k and that would be the moment i would be wearing the hat probably because of 50k bitcoin hat <laughs> thanks for watching guys see you later in a beautiful family video again and else tomorrow morning again in a new ta update i need to keep it short because i have a busy day thanks for watching and see you tomorrow again Remember to zoom out in Bitcoin and to zoom in at life. Try to enjoy every single minute of the day as that is exactly what life should be about. Again, thanks for watching. See you tomorrow. Bam. A million times stronger than a coffee cup, a love carved in stone.